welcome to Carpet Kitchen. Yay! Yeah. Well, I've double booked myself. I was supposed to do this alone, but then I also made plans with my friend, and then I was like, you know what? Why don't we just hit two birds with one stone? And we didn't do any research or whatsoever for this. Hence, the disaster that you're about to watch. So hari ni, I tak masak orang sorang. I'll be cooking with my friend here, Abang Zaina. Hi guys! So we're going to challenge ourselves to make our own rencana. Nak tengok whether jadi ke tak. So he will be my helper. Yeah, jump out. I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to cook. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that, Afam. I've always wanted to do that. behind it guys I mean I'm not good at it but I'm sharing with you guys it makes the flour much more tender by breaking the gluten in the flour yes if you don't eat gluten maybe roti chana is not for you <laughs> but yeah it will do that and then it will make the mixture joint faster by dissolving them you know so use hot water you can use cold water too but gluten signs I don't know So this is behind the scene of Kaput Kitchen, Nisha Aziz uh, trying to It was so tiring right? To knead the dough And she forgot one thing <laughs> To read <laughs> the instruction I didn't read the part yang dia cakap If the dough is still hard, you put more water And here I am thinking if you put more water then I bisa dia kerja lembit lah but it's supposed to be that way. It's not supposed to be lembit, but it's supposed to be soft. So you add more water. And I didn't read that part. I was just scrolling through the recipe and call it a day. How to know whether your dough ni dah siap ke belum is when you cucuk-cucuk macam ni. Dia macam ala-ala elastic itu Macam chewing gum katanya. So cucuk lah macam ni. Segini. One mistake that I did was I didn't need the dough properly sebab malas I think if I were to do that then my dough will be much more softer and has more elasticity to it right just siap tu what you can do is find a clean cloth and then just wet it uh, make sure that dia lembab lah bukan basah tu and then you just place it on the Many people say this to me, young, you're supposed to leave the dough overnight. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. I was wrong. But I've also read on the net that you can actually leave it for 40 minutes to one hour. So it's not because I'm stubborn. Okay, maybe a little bit. Sikit je. Okay, so it's already one hour and we're about to reveal what's going Ooh. on. So I think because my dough was not perfect, therefore, lepas I leave it to 40 minutes to 1 hour point, it's still shit. It's that it doesn't have that elasticity that you need, macam gabani. Cut. Yeah, and then, they, 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 they,
is yes. a me or Misha. <laughs> hand to this because he's a dancer so he moves a lot right and I don't I eat that's what I do Like Rodi Chanai. Once in the morning, you know Mr. Chan. Chan, 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 just breaks apart which is not how it's supposed to be it still tastes all right it still tastes all right it's just that it doesn't have that layer much um, when you eat croissant you can feel and see the layer even if you eat really and you will not find that layer and we didn't achieve that <laughs> Tak. 